hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series and today i'm going to work on this uh, how to give a glowing effect to the health bar so when my rage is full the health bar will have a glowing effect so here is the example the demonstration as you can see in the top left corner top left corner my rage is full and the all the health bar is glowing in red so as I release when the rage is uh, full, there is no glowing so and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so to achieve glowing effect so first I should mention that in a normal material I can easily add a glowing effect to add in a, by adding an MSU color like this see it's easier to add a glowing effect to 3d object but it's not the same for UI material so it's not that easy to add a UI material at, at least I know how I don't know how to achieve a gl glowing effect like this for UI materials so therefore this is the way I am going to do so first uh, this is my hard uh, health bar design and here I'll uh, in Photoshop I'm going to add a glowing effect and I'm going to replicate the same thing in uh, Unreal like this so first I'll uh, to in order to have some glowing effect I need some space around this design so I'll go to canvas size and add some space like this okay and then I'll go to blending options of this layer and add a uh, outer glow and outer glow so to make it clearly visible I'll change this to red and increase the size and the opacity like this yeah okay so now you can see I'll reduce the opacity a little bit okay so this is the glow effect and you can see the settings here uh, to achieve that so now I'll change this back to white that's because uh, if I keep it import this as red then I can't add a color multiplier and uh, if I keep it white I can add any color multiplier so I can add achieve any kind of a glowing maybe like in green like purple or any color I need so I'm going to simulate the effect with the opacity in Unreal like this like this and okay I'll save this as uh, glow I need a PNG wait uh, I forgot to change the color back to white I should use this in white and also just in case if I if this part appeared then it should be also in white because I don't need the other texture here right now I'll save this as a PNG and 
import it okay so this is the glow and in the hard I'll duplicate this one and add it in the back after this one I'll name it health bar glow well no that's the wrong one that's that's not the progress bar I should progress bar I should duplicate it should be this one H bar base yeah it should be here and the size should be increased like this this is 660 and 266 let's increase this by 700 now oh, let's do it like this And let's change the texture to glow. Right, like this. And now I have the glow. Let me rename it. And where can I change the color? Yeah, here, right? Yes. So just like this, I can give a glow in any color I need. So I'll give red for now. I should do this, use the same red as here. And where is the opacity? Mm, yeah, that's here. So with this parameter, I can change the opacity like this. Okay, so the initial value should be zero because I don't need the glow at the beginning. And then, and so how can I change the opacity at the runtime? So I'll go to the event graph and if you're not sure about this function you can refer to previous videos so yeah I already have the tick so I'm not going to implement another timeline I'm gonna do it here like this this is uh, Uh, let me add a reroute node here and this is about okay so this part takes care of uh, changing the percentage values of health bar and health bar back I'll collapse this part health bar update and after after this part, I'll do this. Get rage bar, get percentage. Wait, how can I get the percentage? Yeah, get percent. And let's add a branch here. So if the percent is larger than 
well I could use uh, 1 equal to 1 as well but I'll just use point if it is larger than point 0.9 I'll make it glow so like this if it is true it should glow otherwise it should not glow right so if it is false then the opacity of this glow should be zero opacity yeah it should be zero so instead of just setting it to zero I'll just I'll lerp it like this get opacity is this a uh, render opacity like this I can get the opacity get opacity and this node and I'll split this this is the opacity and I love this one with uh, 0 0.5 and set it here and if this is true then I should glow it mm, how can I do that so in order to glow it this I should give a value between 0 and 1 in a variable value so the easiest way, way to get that is get time seconds and insert this into a sine wave and set it here so this would give something in between 1 and minus 1 and since this is getting in second I need to speed up this so I'll multiply this with if I want cycles in every two seconds well then I should have something like let's try 30 and to let's see okay it is glowing but the rate is much slower see it's glowing but the rate speed is not enough so I'll increase this to 90 yeah now it's glowing but there is a little problem this uh, when it goes from 0 to minus 1 so it's like having a 0 so therefore I'll give the absolute value here so that it will go from 0 to 1 and then 1 to 0 and then again 0 to 1 when it goes from when this one goes from 0 to minus 1 and I'll increase the speed yeah now it is better and you can see the edge of the image but you can fix it in the Photoshop and get a proper image so yeah so now I reduce this the initial value of the rage bar to zero because if I set it at the initial value for the one then it will always glow right now I'll start from the beginning without any rage and as I build my rage let's see how it start to glow <laughs> Now it is glowing. And let's release glow. Yeah, now glowing is finished. 
and that's all I want to do for today I hope the way I did it was clear for you and yeah I'll upload the latest source code to my patreon page feel free to check that and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye in the next episode I wish to work on this uh, changing this uh, weapon icon so here when I have equipped the sword I will use a sword weapon icon and when I have equipped, equipped the axe the axe icon will be here alright goodbye